Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Infinisha. I've been doing a little work around my cave. Where you might ask? Hmm, that's a good question. I didn't go to the end. I haven't been back since I uh, defeated my boring ass inner dragon. And uh, I've done a little work right around here, kind of converting it to a cleaner look. Um, not a whole lot there, that was more of a, I got sidetracked. But really, what I've done is in our quote unquote potion room. I didn't like it. I, it kept bothering me. Ever since I created it, it just did not fit with the potion room. It was just too big. Um, however, I did find a really good use for it. And um, the reason I came up with it is because if we check here, our y coordinate is 25, and in some cases 23. Even over there, I'm down real low. So the reason that this bothers me and why I wanted to come up with something is because slimes can spawn. And since I have a lot of caves around here lit up, slimes spawn all the time, all over the place, and it is very annoying. So I wanted to build a, any builds I do, I want to actually be above the spawning level for slimes because they are very troublesome. They constantly jump on my pressure plates and they get in the way, and I don't want to be running around here and get attacked by a big slime either. Let's turn that off. So I decided to go up to level 40, and I want to do pretty much all the rest of my building up there. Um, so let's let's go in. As you can see here, I have changed this back wall. Um, before there were kind of like a shelving, and then there was some brewing stations here, some here with like a water source, and some over here. Uh, what I've changed, these are my water drops. I'll get to those in a minute. But this right here is an elevator. Um, one of the things I had trouble with with this place was that it's a too wide entrance. So a lot of things you do in Minecraft are three. Um, they come in multiples of three, which is strange in a boxy game, but regardless, a lot of things you do that look good come in threes. So I had some trouble coming up with a design that would flow with an elevator system. Um, I took Etho's design, the simplified elevator that just kind of pushes you upstairs, and expanded upon it a little bit, and created a sticky piston doorway. So that sends a signal that goes back there into uh, two sticky pistons that kind of open a little passageway for you. Now one of the problems is you can't have it too close because let's say something happens and you run in here and let's just do this and it pushes right through you hmm what do you do in that case if you were to build your uh... sorry it's a little dark let's get out of here so if you were to build this ne right next to that so in this block here you'd be crushed and suffocated and you'd die so i had to bring it back and this button just uh... powers a block that powers the two pistons so that's real simple but this is kind of an emergency situation there. Um, another thing too is redstone lamps. They can be uh, activated by... Oh crap, I didn't mean to step on that. So they can be activated by that going up, so it gives it another neat little feature. So let's ride this. Takes us up to level 40. 40, there we go. And we jump out here. So these two passageways back here these are our water drops. So just an easy way to get back down and I took advantage of the um, half slab lighting and also half slabs on the ground so no mobs can spawn in here. So I think that's a little pretty neat addition. Looks pretty nice and then that's our water drop on the adjacent side. So here for lighting as you can see I've got lava, lava lighting and you can walk right across the edge and you don't get, don't get burned which is nice. Um, back here I've just, as here, as here as well, I've got little side areas that I was storing some stuff. It's because it's just my potion room, so yeah, there's that. Um, what else? So this is a 3x3 three three piston door that also has a middle. Um, there is tutorial. There's a tutorial online that I will link to that I used. Um, I 
made a couple quirks to it. I have buttons on either or pressure plates on either side, which is simple redstone wiring. One of the things I did differently was I created a effect where it kind of opens an order starting at this block and going around here. I'll show you that. So pretty neat and you can step off and it stays and then we can shut it behind us. I had a lot of trouble actually so it opens like that. Now normally when you do it so it closes and it closes around in that order but when you open it normally there's a big issue with the wiring here and this one likes to open first no matter how, what kind of delay you set this one wants to open first so that was actually kind of tricky let's go around and I'll show you that come in here okay so this is the basic wiring I used wool just because it was easy if I ever needed to troubleshoot this is our I appear to be in the stone hmm that's strange okay another thing I guess I haven't fixed that bug with the redstone or the repeaters oh well regardless it doesn't affect us too much actually I think that would if there was no block under there we'd just fall um, gotta be careful then. So this is our, these are our pressure plates on the other side. So that's super simple. What I've done, is actually I haven't modified anything of the basic workings of this. What I have done is change the uh, timing over here. And this is what was difficult. So I have our first open block. It's just powering this block here, which powers the piston and coming up and you have to actually put the repeater pointing to the top of this piston for the rest of it you can just have repeaters going into blocks that power the pistons but for that one for whatever reason has to be powered slightly differently and you see here I also have this coming through this powers this block which sends a signal here and here this powers this block which powers the piston and on a slight delay powers that piston so I don't know what the reasoning of that is I played with it for a long time and I couldn't figure out why it was happening but I found a way that works so this is going to be not here but um, my passageway down there I'm going to start building and I have a really kind of an epic design that I want to incorporate into my world and it's going to take a lot of work, but um, I don't know. I'm just kind of I just kind of like the whole big fancy stuff, and I I wanted to make it my central station, if you will. So it's going to be nice, and uh, I'll get to working on that, and maybe show you a little teaser of doing it. It's going to take a long time, so we'll see if I can get it all done today. All right, everybody. I thought I'd give a little update here on my progress. Um, I've decided to switch over to using iron pickaxes, mainly because I don't have a whole lot of enchanted stuff. Um, two reasons, actually. One, because I don't have a lot of enchanted diamond. I do have a uh, leftover diamond if I wanted to, but non-enchanted iron and non-enchanted diamond. The time difference in the uh, mining is pretty insignificant especially for this project I'm doing it's it's huge so I don't want to be wasting a lot of a uh, diamond when it's not like a super speed increase um, another reason is I have a mass abundance of iron and um, I don't have a lot of redstone to be making pistons for cooler stuff so or, or even doing a whole lot of stuff for pistons in general or redstone in general I should say um, <laughs> so I'll be using iron, but let's go take a look at the project here and um, the progress I've made so far and I wanted to show you what I meant by uh, how fast that diamond pickaxe is. Alright, so fun. Alright, so I've been uh, clearing out some area here. Yeah quite a project I have in mind. I want to keep it more of a secret until I do finish it because it's quite massive. So it's not a mob trap. This is my mob trap is going to be 
I do want to make a mob trap eventually because having a lot of bone mill would be pretty neat. And I haven't found any skeleton spawners for simple bone meal, but you know, regardless. So I'm going to be clearing this out. It's going to be a uh, 30 by 30, and this will be my uh, centralized area here. Um, I'm not sure what the height of it is. I think it's like 20 something blocks. Um, that can be adjusted, but that the roof right now is actually the ground for outside. So I was kind of disappointed when running into that because I wanted a, a stone ceiling, sort of, but um, that's not going to happen. So we'll have to be building above ground, but that's okay. We can build some above ground stuff too. This doesn't have to be all underground. So I'm going to get to work here. I'm going to use up um, some blocks. Um, I'm going to use up, I don't know, probably a stack of uh, iron pickaxes. Of, of iron worth of iron pickaxes, but let me show you what I mean. Let me actually use both here. So this is the speed, the max speed I should say, of an iron. And if you didn't know, you can run along the side here. And avoid my hole. And uh, do that. It's uh, it's much quicker, but like I said, I don't have a lot of enchanted stuff. So we're going to have to stick with iron. We're going to use it all, and uh, I'll come back when I've made more progress on my huge project here. I found a cave. I was uh, decided to use some TNT, blowing some stuff up, and I found like 15 spiders were like right here. Look at all the freaking string and eyes I got. So, oh, but hey, hey, little buddy. So. And then I noticed there's a dungeon over there. And, uh, I think it's a skeleton. Jesus, what are these enemies? See, this is what I mean by I light it, lit my caves up around here, and there's just so many mobs. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, skeleton spawner. Gotta light it up real quick. Oh, there's no, uh, don't you get away from my skeleton spawner, you creeper. Oh. <sighs> Hell yeah, man. Look at that. That is so cool looking, too. Just like, boom, open room. But I am a little disappointed there's no uh, chest in here. Makes me sad. Hi, creeper. Don't you blow up on me. I bet not too far this way is my, uh, my hole in the ground. I don't know what to call it yet. I'm gonna call it my core because it'll be the center of operations. Okay, maybe it's not this way, but lots of iron. I'll come back for it in a minute. So uh, we found a temporary <laughs> solution to our phone wheel problem. Permanent solution will be once I set up a mob trap because that's eventually what I want to do. I mean, I've already got enough of this area lit up. <laughs> Might as well make use of it. Put it somewhere near our, our core. I hear you. I hear you, man. Don't worry about it. Clearing this out, man. Don't want to fall off there. That'd be terrible, wouldn't it? Oh, crap. Can't even run. It's nighttime out, too. I'll go. Yeah, I have my bow and I don't have any arrows, but I guess I do have some arrows because I killed some skeletons. I'm talking to myself if you didn't notice. Oh, they're dropping in from outside. That's not good. Goodbye. Where the hell did that creeper go? Hey, shut up. You know what? Thank you. I am okay with that. Thank you for helping me, Creeper. Pretty cool. Nope, lots more mobs. You? Goodbye. 
Hey. Bombs are dropping in everywhere. All right. Well, let's uh, let's actually get this lower so they can't just drop in. And then uh, we'll continue working. I might make some more TNT because it's pretty fun. <laughs> Blowing it up with TNT. Let's just blow one up for the fun of it. Nope. I'm gonna get attacked. Nope. Ooh, perfect. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Eh, I don't want you to blow up yet. I like that you can just right click on TNT to blow it up now. It's wonderful. Alright, one more TNT. Put that there. Oh, we got two more TNT, I'm sorry. Like, I'm gonna come near you. I love this bow. It'd be a shame to lose it. Hmm. Where else to lay TNT? This is our last wall here. I don't know where we gotta go back farther. Okay, good. We'll use it right here. Oops. Gotta lay the TNT first. Run away. Ooh. Man, that's fun. Alright, I'll get back to work. You'll never believe. But, uh... Spiders apparently have death wishes, because... A spider jumped from that... Let's see, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks. 10 blocks he jumped, just to try to get me. Oh, Jesus. Whee! Goodbye. Yeah, that, I mean, scared the crap out of me, because they were, they were falling at like 5, and that kind of threw me off, but, you know, I expected it a little bit. But 10 blocks they're jumping. It's getting ridiculous. I, <sighs> I'm back to work. Alright guys, this is actually going to take a lot longer than I, well, I knew it was going to take a long time, but it's taking longer than I expected. Uh, I wanted to finish off this episode today. But this project's going to take me at least another six hours, um, which is to assume I've actually already done this about four hours now. Anyway, uh, I want to talk to talk to you guys while digging about some of the projects I wanted to do coming up after this one, of course. Um, so one of the things is uh, new because of our discovery is that skeleton farm. I wanted to set something up real real quick like nothing too fancy just yet I'll polish off later but I want some bone meal I have some ideas with bone meal and uh, we don't have a large quantity of it we maybe a few stacks or so and uh, I just wanted to do something with that um, finishing off digging here I did some calculations and it's about 22,000 blocks a 30 by 30 by 25 so that's quite a lot of digging I've gone through uh, about two stacks of iron I made two diamond pickaxes went through those guys I went through my fortune pickaxe on uh, all, our, all the coal we found I actually have enough coal to um, create smooth stone for about 35,000 cobblestone so we're gonna try to make some designs with <laughs> stone bricks um, but regardless past that I want to work on the Enderman farm um, coincidentally um, I just went to YouTube while eating not too long ago and um, I saw that Doc M 77 posted a video of his t the tutorial that he of his ender farm and it's coincidental I already kind of know what how to do it. That's something I actually enjoy about this game is not 
watching tutorials if I can help it and figuring it out on my own. Uh, that compact 3x3 door is something I did not do. I couldn't figure out quite how to get uh, double extending pistons, and even once I figured it out, it was still a pain in the butt. So, I did use a tutorial for that, um, but like that, the compact staircase with the tweak of the hidden door, that's just stuff I've created on my own, and I mean, I'm not taking full credit for it, I never will. I don't think there's anything in Minecraft that's left that's really without getting into super crazy redstone contraptions that is really new and unique. It's more about style, a little bit of flavor, which is something I'm going for here. It's some kind of epic build that really stands out. So working on the Enderman farm, uh, can't do it right away, even though with uh, snow golems we can get plenty of blocks really quickly, snow blocks to build with. The problem is the redstone. I don't have a lot of redstone, as I mentioned earlier. So we'd have to do quite a bit of mining to get some branch mining down on the redstone levels to get enough redstone for that. Fortune pickaxe, this guy right there, that'll help out a huge amount. Get my diamond count up and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I do not have a lot of it on hand. So, an Enderman farm takes, I don't know if you've noticed, but it takes a lot of redstone. Uh, at least a double chest full for any kind of efficient Enderman farm. And then actually, just thinking about how many spawning levels you'd have to have, and how many pistons and redstone repeaters and whatnot you'd have to have, it's gonna, it's gonna qu qu cost a bit can't speak. It's going to cost quite a bit of redstone. Maybe even more than a double chest worth. So that is something that is way down downstream as far as mining goes. I'll probably do some branch mining. I actually haven't done any branch mining since I've started this world, which I find kind of cool because I have a, gotten quite a few diamonds just off of patrolling caves and whatnot. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, we haven't done any branch mining so far. I feel like it's something we're going to have to do if I want to get get what I want, but unfortunately, oh well. That's okay. It's not, not, that, not that bad with an efficiency pickaxe. But uh, what else do I want to do? I want to do... I want to finish up that uh, farm I have going with the pigs and the chickens and the cows. That shouldn't take too much effort. It's going to take a little bit of redstone, but not too much. Um, I have a couple ideas I want to do with that. A lot of the things that I do, I'll usually do in creative mode first, especially because like the bigger stuff like this, I had was coming up with some ideas. Obviously, I was doing that in creative mode. Even then, it took several hours to come up with something. I won't tell you what it is yet. I'll wait until uh, next episode. I should have that ready. But what else? I don't know. I kind of don't want to do a blaze farm. I want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> There's lots of things I want to do. I want to do a mob farm. I want to do a blaze farm. An enderman farm. I want to do a chicken, pigs. Oh, this game's like farming. But no, I want to do builds too. Like this, that it's more look based than it is just efficiency but I wanna I wanna do some efficiency stuff too I, I have a lot of fun playing with redstone now and um, this is this is a nice change from what I've been doing which was school work I had a genetics microbiology exam on the same day and it just takes a lot out of you studying for six days in a row over all sorts of different mutagens and pathogens and blah 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 blah. So <laughs> this is a very relaxing change of pace. Just chopping or busting down stone. All those double chests are filled with cobblestone. But yeah. It's looking pretty nice. I also removed the roof as I'm sure you've noticed. I mentioned earlier spiders are kind of kamikaze. I found that they will drop even from 13 blocks. 
I haven't found them dropping any farther than that because I don't think they can track you unless they're right on the end there. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know they could drop that far. So if you are ever building something and uh, you want to know how high you have to make your walls if they're not spider proof for you not to have any surprise attacks, it's going to have to be probably 16 blocks as far as they can see you. So uh, just keep that in mind. Alright, what, what else? There's a lot of stuff I want to do. God dang it. A lot of stuff I want to do. But for the immediate future, I think we're going to do, after I built this and that skeleton farm, I think I want to do a little bit of branch mining, get some redstone, hopefully enough to start working on something in the end. Because that kind of experience farm is, will be very handy for any future builds I do. I can go there and enchant a few things after like 20 minutes, get a bunch of level 50 enchantments, and start working on something else. So this game is really cool. I get a lot of ideas after doing homework, <laughs> working on uh, science stuff. I just, all these ideas pop into my head of things I want to do, things I want to create. Just very, I don't know, it's really cool. Now I'm starting to jabber. So uh, I'll finish working on this and I should have basically what I want. I mean, there's there's a lot, a lot of stuff I need to do before I get a final what I want for the end of what I want. A little confusing. But uh, the basis of what I want. I don't know, it's, it's hard to say what I want without uh, spoiling it. So I guess I'll end it here and uh, continue working on this. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked it. Maybe uh thought it was kind of cool to see a big frickin' hole in the ground. I know you saw that in my last video with TNT, but this is in survival mode, so it's a lot cooler, I think. Plus the vines are kind of neat. I'm sort of beating, beating them down <laughs> to the, the ground level there, or 40, Y40. Um, yeah, I'll finish up here. Join me for my next episode. You should see uh, what I have planned for here. And uh, that's it. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.